بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد from the pearls of the sunnah of the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم was his immense encouragement to supplicate to Allah سبحانه وتعالى to have the desires to supplicate to your Lord, seek your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala's assistance and the times for doing so. And Al-Mundari rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned and in a chapter he entitled At-Targheeb fi Dua fi Sujood wa Dabar Salawat he said the encouragement for supplicating during the time when a person is in prostration and the ending of salat and the last part of the night and dubra salawat is referring to the last portion of a person's prayer meaning after tashahud Al Akhir and this is important because some of our brothers and sisters take it to mean to supplicate after prayer and they make that a part of their regular religious practice that after every salat instead of making dhikr in accordance with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who had the best guidance that they rush into dua. And that doesn't make it prohibited to rush into du'a if you have a need that occasional time. But to make that a consistent practice is where it can be problematic. Let's listen to this hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu and an Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal أَقْرَبُ مَا يَكُونَ الْعَبْدُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ وَهُوَ السَّاجِدْ فَأَكْثَرُوا الدُّعَاءَ رُوَاهُ مُسْلِمْ وَأَبُوْ دَعُودُ وَالنِّسَائِ In this hadith that was collected in uh, Sahih Muslim and Sunan Abi Dawood or Sunan Nisa'i the hadith of Abi Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said the nearest that a servant is to his Lord, the Almighty, is when he is in prostration. So supplicate often. And this was collected, as we mentioned, in Sahih Muslim, Wa Abu Dawood, Wa Nisai. And it shows us the importance, as Ibn Mandir, Rahim, uh, as Mundari Rahimahullah Ta'ala mentioned in this title, the importance of supplication and the importance of some of the times of supplication and that being one of the times being when a person is in sujood. And that's the closest time because the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in that hadith, قَالْ أَقْرَبُ مَا يَكُونَ الْعَبْدِ مِنْ رَبِّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ He said it is the time it is the, when the servant is closest to his Lord, the Almighty. So strive to be close. And which one of us does not want to be near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So supplicate often when you're in sujood. And then in another uh, hadith, عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه وعن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ينزل ربنا كل الليلة كل ليلة ليلة إلى السماء الدنيا هنا يبقى ثلث الليل الآخر فيقول من يدعو من يدع يدعوني فاستجيب له من يسألني فأعطيه من يستغفروني فاغفر له رواه مالك والبخاري ومسلم وترمذي وغيرهم. So in this hadith that was narrated that was collected in uh, collected uh, in by Imam Malik wa Imam collected by Imam Bukhari 
or Muslim or Tirmidhi and other than them. This is the hadith well known to us, the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala where that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said our Lord descends to the lowest heaven during the last third of the night and he says who is supplicating to me I will give him and who is asking of me and I will fulfill his his need and who is seeking forgiveness from me then I will forgive him this as we know is an authentic hadith of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam as it is was collected in Bukhari and Muslim and it shows us that our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, descends to the lowest heaven. We don't ask how. We don't question the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We don't question the authentic authenticity of the hadith. It's well known. And we understand what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us from understanding. So we don't go into matters that we have no knowledge of. We know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lowest heaven because this is what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said and he does not lie. And it doesn't require for us that we change the meaning or reinterpret the meaning to fit our intellect, to make us feel better. But rather, we hear and obey and accept the text as they come, as they were revealed, meaning the Quran and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And so we know from this hadith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lowest heaven every last third of the night. And then he asks, who is supplicating to me? So I will answer him. Who is asking of me? So I will give him. And who is seeking my forgiveness? So I will forgive him, or I have forgiven him. So we know that this is a blessed time, the last third of the night. It illustrates first the importance of getting up and performing the night prayer and striving to do so and striving to make lots of dua and supplication to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking for your needs, and they will be answered, especially at this time and seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially at this time, if one is truly desiring to be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those to, and to be of the tawabin wa mutatahirin wa mutasaddaqin wa sabirin. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with Jannata Fardos and may Allah accept our good and forgive all of our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam